This Gainesville Police Department report is dated 10 p.m. July 25th. That's hours after we first broke this story last week. It details ongoing tension between local Gainesville men and University of Florida football players turning violent as early as recently as earlier this month. This is the confrontation that gained national attention. But according to a newly released Gainesville Police Department report, the trouble between UF football players and a group of local men dates back months. As we first reported last week, an alleged gambler named Devante Zachary, a.k.a. Taybang, was on the other side of the scuffle with the Gator players. This new police report gives more details about the relationship between Zachary and tight end Siante Lewis. Zachary told police the two had a good relationship and he would give Lewis discounts on rental cars at Enterprise where Zachary worked. Lewis was the only one to name Zachary as a gambler and told the University of Florida police their relationship turned south when the Gators started losing. According to the police report, the May 28th confrontation followed months of smaller conflicts between the two groups, mostly at downtown clubs. Zachary told police a bunch of football players, quote, saw him on campus and started throwing rocks at his car, chased him with pots and pans, and one of them had an AR-15. University police have said the guns toted by the UF football players that night were airsoft rifles, though Zachary believed at least one to be real. Then earlier this month, on July 4th, Zachary told police that a member of his crew knocked out wide receiver Tyree Cleveland near a nightclub. Zachary repeatedly told police he feared for his well-being and that he wanted to meet with law enforcement and the football players to resolve the issue. Now this email is just into our newsroom within the last five minutes or so. It is with, from Steve McLean with the university's athletics department. Bear with me as I read this again. Just in within the last five minutes, it says, we understand GPD has followed up last week's UPD report with a background report that has Devante Zachary, AKA Taybang as its primary source. We are not aware if there will be any additional information provided by GPD on this matter. Anytime we get information involving our student athletes, we do look into it. Now I have also asked that department several times repeatedly, will there be any game suspensions for any of those players because of this incident? I have not yet received a response to that question. Reporting live, Juliet Dreyer, First Coast News on your side.